Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my let's play of Crusader Kings 2. Now it seems like an age since I've been able to play this and I actually had to record some Mountain Blade as well tonight. Which was going to be a nice short one episode recording session so I could get into this and do a nice big long one of, it, of Crusader Kings 2. Which is what I actually wanted to play, I was in the mood to play. And then as always with Mountain Blade when I actually get to a point where the episode's ended, I'm unable to save so I carry on. Now what I didn't notice at the end of the last war was... The Holy Roman Emperor has gone on for Pomerania itself. Now, I'm guessing that means it adds it into his holdings. Which my daughter is his wife. And his heir is also my daughter. His, his heir... His heir's son is also my daughter. My son-in-law, yes. So... We'll have doomy people involved, but unfortunately they won't. And she shouldn't have this anymore. She's not a member of... Oh no, she is a member of House Doom, but her children won't be, I don't think. Uh, my grandson here. Yeah. Unfortunately, they have the, that nasty shield. Oh gosh, she's not old enough yet, so she hasn't... It's a very strange situation where I've ended up marrying the older daughter off to the heir and the younger daughter off to the Kaiser himself. Uh, unlanded sons, I don't care, Eric. Sorry, you're not getting any land from me. Let's see, our troops. I don't like that he's fighting that. I don't want to send my troops down because I'm going to have to. So I want to declare war. The Duchy of Ferengia. I thought you had all of this as well. Is that a, a different duke? Uh, you're under the Duke of Holstein. Let's see from you. Oh, no, no, yeah, sorry, Ferengi is separately. I do have a separate claim on that. Uh, but you're... These four. That might be a bit big for me. I think we might... Go for Ferengi first, which is still in my Dijur Kingdom. No, it isn't, sorry. It isn't in my Dijur Kingdom. Ah. Well, on here... Somewhere it should tell me how many troops he can call up. This is vassals. There's no allies at least. Okay, I'm completely lost. I thought it was supposed to tell me on here. No, but we can find out through the... Not main menu, the ledger. And we want to go to not our realm. Character dynasty, direct vessels, all vessels. Our court, no independent states. By name. I think name also sort of does it by rank. We're looking for Holstein. Come on. Oh. Oh, he's not independent, is he? No. Part of the Holy Roman Empire. He's definitely had his troops raised. And a good number of them. And if we're attacking in the war, we can't lose anything. So he would be claiming a duchy, and one, two, oh wait, two duchies, and three counties, send, we will call up all of our troops, oh what's going on here, why are we already fighting? Didn't expect that. 
At least it appears to be where most of my troops are. They've already raised up somewhere, for some reason. I've messed up. As I'm sure you have all come to expect. Come through Holstein itself and then down here. Really, really, really could do with you meeting up first. Who can we call in? Our daughter-in-law. Crystal claims she maybe might come in. She's the only one we can call. You're not going to tell me what claim that is she can inherit? Can be inherited by a successor. She has a strong claim on the county of Swabian as well. And they definitely do get inherited of the actual title, so that's fine. Let's pick up the speed a bit. Well, I think we've been outmatched in this war already. Who's that they're at war with? Ah, they're at war with the other half of Brunswick. Ah, these are the bits that are split off from Brunswick. And they're at war with each other, so we might need to try and make this war happen rather quickly. The Brunswick Reunification War. Oh, you can unfortunately not join this war. Will anyone ever join my wars? That should be the armies all nicely met up. We've got 300 and something. And I think we'll start off by sieging Lubeck back. Yeah, we've got enough to siege it, we have. The Kaiser has created the duchy of someone else for himself. <laughs> We're still the smaller parties in these wars. For some reason it does appear that our, our duchies aren't worth as much. As either of these two guys, even though they've been split in half, they still seem to be worth a hell of a lot more than us. Am I going to lose this fight? For Christ's sake. Not too few to even siege. We could get another band of mercenaries soon. In the meantime, I would prefer... Oh, you have these get places as well. Gonna get out there on the. Oh, they're gonna get there on the fifth. We're gonna get out there on the first of the next month. We're not even showing up on there, are we? Oh yeah, first of September, fifth of August. So we're not getting out of there. Defeat again. They're chasing me down. Yes. Oh no. Can we run? 11th of September, 19th, we head to Brandenburg, 3rd of October, getting worse here, 25th of September, go to Brandenburg itself, we might be able to heal up, I guess, there. No, our army's going to get completely whooped. In fact, it's getting so badly whooped that we can't until we actually get there, but I'm going to say, stand down. What? The army of Henrik will stand down. All levies will return home. Due to enemy presence. The Holy Roman Emperor isn't enemy. Or does that include all my land? I guess it does. Okay, then we'll save up, get some mercenary troops, and siege the hell out of them really, really quickly. Nice. See, Alex, you're the spy master of uh, somebody. Don't really know who. Let's raise the troops back up. That's 200 and something. Uh, come 
this way. And why are they going to come and instantly try to deal with me again? For Christ's sake! These guys are sieging you! Why deal with my pathetic little army? It's going to be dead. I don't care how many I'm losing with retreating. I mean, not retreating where... Standing down. That was rather, rather stupid. It's level 150, apparently. Don't know where the hell they were. 90 odd. If we wait a couple more months, though, we'll have a good bit chunk of money. And we can start work at least on getting the Duchy of Holstein. really do with getting the peace deal first because I don't know what they're claiming. They're probably claiming the exact same thing. In fact, if we go to the ledger, is there a current wars? The ledger feels like it's missing because it doesn't have the tabs in the top like the one from EU3 does. Let's see... Holstein versus War for the Duchy of Holstein and the Duchy of Saxony. Whereas we was going for the counties as well. Mercenary orders. You're going to cost me 75, 5 per turn, 5 per month, so I got you for, say, 5 months, wait to the end of the month. But then you Bulgarian band, I think we're taking you. Yeah, come on, try it. Run over to Lubeck while you're organising yourself. Uh, actually, no. Take a little bit longer about getting there. You know, organising yourself quick enough. And the Holy Roman Emperor has won his war. Do you see how many troops that took, though? That's n compared to what we have, Cardoom is of legal age. She has became a famous builder. Petrov can marry with a try and send. Now... Good. You ready to see Jet? A couple of days. Come on. Damn, you're taking a lot of damage. Okay, well, that's one of them down. They're mercenaries, so to be honest, the more I injure them, the... Oh, 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 don't fail. Don't get defeated, you idiot. Come back here, deal with them. Wait until we get up to full morale because stupid me. See, now this one should end by itself rather quickly. My wife is no longer my spy master, she's dead. Which means we need to marry. And marry for an alliance, I think, is the only. Um, fair thing to do. We'll leave that for the next episode though. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll say goodbye. Goodbye.